Smoke blanketed roads on the outskirts of Gatton as a large fire quickly took hold. Yeah, approximately about 11 o'clock this morning we had a uh, calls to a grass fire on the southern side of Gatton. 25 fire crews, a water bomber and a grader were called in to try to contain the fire. Uh, it was a fairly uh, rapidly spreading uh, grass fire. They managed to bring the blaze under control late this afternoon, but smoke warnings remain in the area. The rural, fire, rural appliances are now just standing by, uh, blackening out and just putting out hot spots. The blaze sparked just as council was being updated about the season outlook. Potentially it's a very dangerous and threatening fire season that we're looking at. And an early start to the season has the downs on edge. There's been a number of fires over the weekend again, uh, all accidental. Again, people trying to do the right thing uh, by mowing and slashing. The Cecil Plains fire through the Cumbarilla Forest was a lightning strike. Crews from as far away as Atherton were caught in for the Cecil Plains fire. But another danger looms this season. The Weather Bureau today officially declared an El Nino weather outlook, prompting renewed calls for volunteer firefighters. They say they're concerned. Too few appreciate the risk this season will pose. The Bureau have given us a, quite a grim outlook, actually, right up until December. October through December are dry months again. But Mayor Jeff McDonald has assured the community that they are ready if and when another fire breaks out. I guess um, a great example of how prepared we are was the action and activities that were undertaken at, at Cecil Plains only a week and a bit ago. Ben Meehan, 7 News.